Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan and this morning I am here dark and early, which is actually somewhat new for me. Over the past like month, I've been coming in quite a bit later and so it feels kind of weird, honestly, to be here like so early, like to be one of the first people here. But I do have a meeting this morning, so I thought I better come in early. I have a meeting starting in about a little bit less than half an hour and also I just wanted to get like some printing done and stuff like that before there's a long line in the copy room. So I'm gonna send a bunch of stuff down to the printer but I just wanted to say hello and start this vlog off so hopefully I can film a little bit more throughout the week yesterday was like the most glorious day yesterday was Monday today's Tuesday so yesterday it was like in the 60s it was gorgeous it was sunny and so I just like really enjoyed my night last night and I'm feeling very refreshed today coming into the day so I actually went on two beach walks yesterday I walked to one beach and then my husband and I drove to another beach and took another walk at sunset and it was just so much fun and so rejuvenating and so yes I am just feeling really really good about being here this morning I'm feeling well rested and just feeling ready for the day so not actually ready for the day though because I do need to make my coffee so I better sign in really quick and then I will show you my outfit today and then I think that's all from me for today <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my outfit today. Very simple, but I thought I would show you because I haven't done one of these in a while. So this shirt is super cute. I don't know what brand it's originally from, but I found it at Plato's. I get a lot of my clothes at Plato's or secondhand. And yes, I have this. I actually really don't wear it super often because I don't love that it's like three, four sleeves, but I'm wearing it today. Hoping for another warm day today. I like never check the weather, so we'll see what happens. And then these pants are from Old Navy and they're not the pixie pants. They're like the ones that zip on the side which I do prefer just like the regular pixie pants but I remember I got these on sale so they work and then also I have on my favorite loafers these are Sam Edelman loafers and I have them in multiple different colors I wear them all the time and yes that is the outfit for today so that is what we were doing and now my alarm's going off because I need to send an email <laughs> so I'm gonna go take care of that Hello sweet friends, now it is officially the weekend. I'm here with my coffee, so life is good. I tried something new this morning, so this is very similar to what I've been getting, but slightly different. So this is the, mm, let's think about this, toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso. I think that's what it's called. And then I added two pumps of caramel to it because I just love caramel and everything. Not in everything, but in like basically all of my coffees. So I do like it. I will say I prefer the just like brown sugar oat milk, like the original one with two pumps of caramel, but it's still good and yes, I'm excited to drink this. So, have my Starbucks, life is good. I am here bright and early, I'm feeling good that I'm sitting down and filming and I think I already filmed a little bit earlier this week so hopefully you already saw like something from this week. <laughs> I can't really remember, it's all kind of a blur. But I have been really good about taking pictures in the morning so I'm gonna put over here some of my outfits this week. I've been trying to post them almost every single day on Instagram so if you're not following me already on Instagram, shameless self promo, I would love to have you over on there. I am fairly active-ish on there. I've done better this year. Usually I just kind of like drop off the face of the earth during the school year and then post on the summer or like in the summer months. But this year I've been a little bit better. So yes, if you'd like to follow me, I post lots of stories more than like actual like static posts if that makes sense. But I do love Instagram. It's a lot of fun. So anyways, I have had a really, really good weekend so far. This past Friday was kind of fun because the students had a half day because we had PD in the afternoon and we all went to the high school, like all of the teachers for all of the buildings because it was a district-wide PD. And it's fun because I work in the same district that I graduated from. And so it was kind of fun just like being back and roaming the halls and feeling like I was like the big guy on campus because I knew where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> and all that fun stuff. So we had two sessions and we could like pick what sessions we wanted to sign up for. So in the first time slot, I actually led a session with my friend Karina who is phenomenal. We love her. She has an Instagram as well, so I'll link that below. And she is just like such a beautiful, amazing person. She is just like so warm and kind and I adore her. And we did a session together on the joy of teaching and 
we tried to really emphasize that self-care is just like one piece of the puzzle and it is not the solution for teacher burnout but it is something that we can provide some time for on that day so we provided a lot of work time and we gave some suggestions of things people could work on so if they wanted it to be more structured it could be more structured but we also have grades due this upcoming week so we said like if you need to sit and use this time to work on your grades like please do that and it just felt really good I felt like the vibes were really good and it was just fun connecting with people that I haven't seen in a while from different buildings and yeah so our session went really really well I was very happy with how it went I am I'm a little bit of a ham in real life I am very extroverted <laughs> <laughs> very 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 extroverted almost to a fault and so I felt bad because Karina and I sat down the night before um, we were presenting on Friday so we sat down on Thursday and split up all the slides and made sure we knew who was saying what um, when the time came I accidentally stole like half of her slides because I just keep talking I just don't like silence and so I fill it with my own voice and I think that's why I started YouTube many moons ago <laughs> but anyways she was so sweet and she was like no it's okay no big deal I didn't mind but I did feel a little bad because I did steal some of her slides but Overall, it went well, and then my second session that I went to was on supporting English language learners in the classroom, and it really dove into just some best practices, some cool strategies to try, and it was very reaffirming because a lot of the things that they talked about were things that I'm already doing in my classroom, so that was a really good feeling, but it also gave me some ideas of some things I can do better as well, and it's been really fun, and I think I've shared a little bit about this, but... I've been doing a lot more of sharing words in English and Spanish because I'm really trying to learn Spanish as well. So it's like great practice for me. But then most of my students, even if they don't like predominantly speak Spanish at home, almost all of my students know at least some Spanish because they have like maybe grandparents who speak Spanish or they have aunts and uncles who speak primarily Spanish. And so almost all of my kids are at least like familiar with Spanish. Um, and I, I would say about like half of them probably are able to communicate in Spanish. And so it varies from year to year, but my building does have a lot of students who are from Mexico specifically. Um, maybe not they themselves, but their families are from Mexico and they might be first generation in the United States or second generation in the United in the United States so so I would say at least half of my kids are probably fluent in Spanish as well so it's just fun to incorporate that and I love the excitement that I see from the kids and even the kids who don't speak any Spanish at all like they're learning the words they're excited to learn the words I bought all of those books that I think I showed in my last vlog I bought like a bunch of elephant and piggy books and I bought just like a bunch of other books that were either bilingual books or books just in Spanish and my students who don't speak any Spanish at all other than like you know counting to 40 like they're learning in Spanish class like they Still like sitting and reading those books and sometimes they'll sit with a student who is a native speaker and they'll talk to them and be like what does this word mean and it's really fun and it's just it makes my teacher heart so happy so yes um those books have already been very well loved and i know i've showed in my last video a bunch of books were donated so if you're somebody who donated those books thank you so much they are seriously being utilized every single day in my classroom and that's just a really good feeling so anyways all of that to say that second session went really well as well and it was led by our um like el coordinator for the district and then also an EL teacher in another building who is absolutely phenomenal. She is lovely. I would love to see more of her in my life. She's in the same building that my friend Karina works at and she is just a hoot and a holler. She is just one of those people that just makes you feel like you're in the right spot doing the right thing um, because she just has such a overwhelming joy and love for what she's doing and it just is so evident in everything she does. So anyways, it was just like very soul affirming. Like it was just very soul enriching. It was a good day and then afterwards I hung out with some of the old coworkers I had in my old building including my best friend Melissa and it was so nice to just reconnect with them and then Melissa and I went and hung out and we like went to the mall and we went and got food and stuff after and it was just so much fun it was just a really really good day so yes and I feel like we need those days to just like refill our cups so I hope that you guys are being given those days and I hope that some of you are maybe either on spring break right now maybe you just ended spring break or you have spring break coming up I am in the boat where I have spring break coming up still this is our last week until spring break. So we only go to school Monday through Thursday and then we have Friday off and I'm spending Friday like preparing for spring break. So I'm gonna go get a couple appointments done. I'm gonna finish packing my bags, all of that fun stuff because I am spending a long weekend in Nashville. I did spend quite a bit of time making a slideshow of a bunch of recommendations people had sent me for well, like what to do, what to see, what to eat, like while I'm in Nashville. However, I'm not going to share that out until after I return from Nashville just as like a safety thing because 
because a lot of the stuff that's on there is stuff that I am personally going to and I just don't want to put out there like hey this is exactly what I'm doing here's my itinerary while I'm there I feel like it's already like not dangerous but it's definitely like I'm telling you where I'm gonna be in what days you know what I mean so I don't like love the idea of sharing any more information than what I have to at this point or not have to but then what I already have and so I will share though a PowerPoint with you so if you're going to Nashville like this summer maybe or like later this spring or whatever then you can see that and see what we did and um, just like some of our recommendations as well as just like other recommendations that came from Instagram because I did spend quite a while compiling those but I'm so excited. I'm going with a couple of my best, best, best friends who I don't get to see super often. One of them had moved away to Florida at the beginning of COVID. And so I've like barely seen her. I've only seen her once since she moved. And so it's going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. So that's basically what this week is. Um, I just had my kids take a math test on Thursday of this past week. And so I haven't decided if I'm gonna start the next unit right before spring break, uh, or if I wanna like do a bunch of review and then start it after spring break. We'll wait and see on that. Um, just kind of like getting our ducks in a row before the kids leave. I already have a couple kids who have left early for vacation. So I already have a couple who are gone. We've had a lot of sicknesses going around. And I think a big part of that is the mask mandate has lifted. So a lot of my kids don't wear masks anymore. And it's the first time they've like not worn masks in a long time. And so I think they're just getting more sick because there's more germs being spread probably. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. And I do still wear my mask. I don't have to, but I do because I have a handful of kids who still wear it. And I just feel like I should be like a good example for them. And it doesn't bother me. And I've like barely gotten sick in the past two years. So I feel like it shows that it works. So yes, I am still wearing my mask. A handful of my kids are, a lot of them are not. We've just talked about being respectful, like not, you know, coughing by somebody and, you know, catching your cough and understanding people might not want to be like right, you know, in your face if you're not wearing a mask and they are or whatever. So we have talked a lot about that respect piece and I feel like they're doing a pretty good job with that. So that's good. Okay. So anyways, I feel like I've been talking for a very long time. So I think what I'm going to do is stick you on a tripod and I am going to do a little cleaning around my classroom today just because I haven't really stayed late or come in early in a while. I've been really good about sticking to my contract hours. So I do want to do a little bit of cleaning around my room today. So I think I'm going to do that just for a little bit. Helps me get content for the video and will make my Monday self feel a little bit better if my room isn't like a complete disaster when I walk in tomorrow. So yes, I think I'm going to work on that a few minutes and maybe like put on a Disney movie in the background or some music or something and just like have a good time. So that is the move. Also, I'm going to drink some more of this coffee and let's do this. Let's clean the room. Okay, also random, but I wanted to show you that one thing I've been doing recently to practice my listening comprehension in Spanish is I've been, um, also I just like learn new words too, but I've been using Disney Plus and then changing the language to Spanish for both the um, like spoken words and for the subtitles. Though I will say the subtitles like never match up to what they're saying if you put it in Spanish, but it's okay. It gives you like the right idea at least if you need to see something in writing as well. And I'm just somebody who like always puts subtitles on like even in English. So yes, I've been doing this and it's been helpful and I've watched like so many movies in Spanish. Right now, this morning, I am going to watch The Emperor's New Groove. I actually have been watching it already this morning. This is like just from today. So I like put it on while I'm working around the house. I put it on like while I'm getting ready and I've watched like a ton of movies on here just in Spanish, which is so fun. So yeah. Little life hack.
Okay, so I'm sitting right in front of the window. I feel like my face is like very well lit right now, but I did just clean around my classroom for a little while. It's still not like clean, clean, but it's definitely cleaner than it was. So I'm feeling good about that. And then I just made a bunch of copies for the week, which will be nice because recently I haven't been making my copies on the weekend. So it'll be nice to have those for this week. I'm hoping for just a relaxed, calm week before spring break. I'm hoping that the kids are calm, my coffee is strong, and that we can just get through it. You know, I think it will be a good week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I know the little, you know, changes in routine are hard for a lot of students. So this week we do have some changes in routine, some things that we need to get taken care of before we go on spring break. And then also just like some fun stuff going on throughout the week. But even those fun things can still sometimes be like overstimulating or just too much for some of the students. So crossing my fingers that this week goes well for me and also for you. If you are watching this vlog and you are either going on spring break, maybe already went on spring break, I would love to know if you're going anywhere fun or if you already went somewhere fun in the comments below. If you are somebody who likes to stay at home typically and past years, that's what I've always done too. I usually just stay home for spring break, but I do love traveling when I'm able to. So I'm really, really excited for my short little Nashville trip. And then to be home for a little bit too will be really nice and just be able to like get some stuff done around the house, plan for my next adventures. I am planning on a couple of trips this summer. So I I kind of want to start thinking about those a little bit more like when I'm on spring break when I can do a little bit more planning I am trying to plan a trip to Mexico this summer which I am so excited about I've already talked to a couple of friends about maybe going with me and I'm like over the moon I would absolutely love to go the only time I've ever been out of the country is to go through Canada and that's definitely not the same I don't even have a passport so I need to figure that out I started working on filling out some of the paperwork online but I need to get that turned in ASAP if I want to go this summer so any tips, tricks that you have for me in planning international travel or any of that would be so appreciated as well. I'm like literally so excited. Ooh, my battery light just started blinking, so I better wrap this up. But anyways, thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this casual vlog and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.